projects. What drew you initially to Cosmos? Hi, my name is Jason Clark. What drew me to Cosmos, I think, most importantly as a producer, was looking for a way to tell this story, the story of who we are, where we come from, and where we're going, in a way that I can bring all the great tools of cinema to that process. So for me, I had all those tools because I'd been involved in all kinds of movies and television shows that involve visual effects or or practical effects or location filming or any of that stuff. Now I could use those tools to tell the story of truth, true stories, stories of, of this world. So um, I was also thrilled to be able to learn so much. What is something fascinating that you learned on season two? Well, in this season, uh, I think you're talking about this current season where, but yeah, possible worlds. What I learned is there's a great idea in what is possible, that hope is not a uh, uh, an intangible uh, emotion. It's not clinging to something that's only based in something ethereal, but hope is like, what's the B plan? Like when our A plan fails, if we make a mistake, if you have hope, you believe you can turn that around. And I think we can turn that around. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that confront us now, but I believe that as the dominant species on this planet, we can make a huge difference. And what I learned is all of the systems in the natural world, from the mycelium mat, the way that bees are the most democratic life form on the planet. These kind of eyes, bees dream. I mean, there are all these ideas that are out there that we begin to respect the natural environment and learn from it. Well, maybe that is an intelligent life form. Maybe we don't have to just look above for signals from space, but maybe we can find intelligent life right here. So that's what I learned. That's awesome, and I think very important in this time. Yeah, yeah I mean, now more than ever, it matters what's true. I was wondering, uh, talk to me about your involvement with Cosmos and Possible Worlds. I'm, I created the animation and produced the animation for the series, and the animation for Cosmos um, is used for the narrative portion of the show, um, where we tell the stories of the scientists or historical figures that in, in the original Carl Sagan version, the first season that were enacted with um, people, with live action actors. But it was decided early on between Anne, Dryan, and Seth McFarland that they wanted to use animation. So um, so that's the part I do. And I also, and we also do, my team does some of the, what we call like mini docs, some of the little explanatory um, pieces uh, to explain like scientific um, experiments and theories and stuff in, in short form and animation. In that, I'll give you two options for the question. Was there anything challenging that you had to overcome with that or particularly challenging or particularly uh, new and interesting that you didn't know before? Well, in terms of stories, it, everything was something that I didn't know before. I mean, Anne has um, this co connections to stories that are very... Um, uh, that are so like fascinating and haven't been any and I read a lot of many history books I've ever read and so every time we would have a meeting with her it would be like you know being in the most fascinating schoolroom hearing about these things and I think that's what's going to be really really exciting for people watching the show because there are they're literally these people ha that having done these amazing things that we've never heard of before um, and it was, you know, it's just a, a privilege, it was difficult, but a privilege to get to tell those stories, you know, through this medium and, um, you know, hopefully people can connect with them in some way, even though it is animation, you know, we tried to make it compelling enough that people would be interested in their stories and, you know. Yeah, I think you do a, a key service in building the imagination for people as they take in this information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for your time.